It's game on and one of college football's top coaches is in the house. As the NBA playoffs are raging, we're talking Wolves with the top plays of the season. They are the champs, they're back on court, and one of the Lynx best is here to talk the season ahead. And it's not Mother's Day without Chef C cooking up something special. It's game on. Nestled in amongst the skyscrapers of downtown Minneapolis, you have found us. Game on, powered by Seven, Steakhouse, Sushi, Ultra Lounge, and Sky Bar. It is downtown's ultimate event destination. And hello again, Rod Simons. Happy Mother's Day to you. Delighted you have found us on this Sunday. We have a full plate for you on this Sunday. Speaking of plates, we're actually on the steakhouse level here at 7. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to be all around the four levels here at 7 just for you, in and out, but having a great time on this Mother's Day. And as we always do, we start game on by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, we find that the Twins' long homestand, that nine games in nine days, will wind up with Cleveland. The Vikings continue to work their roster. I'm still reeling from the Ryan Longwell release. And they prepare for their first team OTA. The WNBA champion Lynx continue their camp. Preseason games, too, as their season starts and just stays. And the Wild hope for roster help via the NHL draft. That comes up in mid-June. And delighted for the second week in a row to lead with football and one of the best college football coaches in the country. It's Gun Caruso. Great to have you with us. Hey, thanks for having us here. Thank you, thank you. So on this Mother's Day, big plans? Yeah, uh, go home after this and make sure I let my wife know how much I love her. Yes. She's a real head coach of the operation, I get as most that. would tell you, right? I, I get that. So have a nice time and take care of mom. Yeah, and go out to dinner, maybe go to a movie, and maybe uh, even let her go do something on her own and take the three kids. Very nice. So you actually turn off the football gears on Mother's Day in a special event. I'm still here today, so yeah. not, not right, totally, right. but nice. a little bit anyway. Okay. Well, let's, uh, Coach, congratulations first Appreciate of all. You've, you've been two-time uh, Coach of the Year. You've had back-to-back, -back, for the first time ever, back-to-back -back undefeated right. seasons. Yep. Uh, do you ever take a second to stop and, and look, at that, look back at the success that you're having? Very little. Uh, we look back to try and figure out how we can get better. I but see. a lot of people always ask, have you enjoyed it yet? And, you know, we'll enjoy it when we retire. Right now, it's got to be go, go, go. Because when you start getting better and better, everyone starts chasing you harder and harder. So you got to be exponentially greater. If you haven't been paying attention to the MIAC, St. Thomas is building a dynasty. Yeah. And one of the things that makes them so difficult to beat is your coaching and the players that you're bringing in are all very, very committed to winning. And then not just are they great players. I mean, these are great student athletes. Yes, we got are. kids. I mean, you had Fritz on your show last year. He's a kid yes. who just left our program after four years, has two job offers, and now all of a sudden he's going to go over and play professional football in Germany and have those two job offers waiting for him when we get back. Amazing. But I got to tell you, I think the hidden secret to our program is really the assistant coaches, just an entirely committed group of guys that work tirelessly to put those kids first. Is there a secret to the success no absolutely zero and there's no magic either it's uh identifying the right types of people surrounding yourself with a good school which i think we've certainly done st right. thomas has been great to us and then working your butt off yeah. and in those sequences i think our players have done it and that's why we continue to get a little bit better you know some of the players have said that the faith helps the practicing of the faith in, you know, in their in, in their collegiate situation whatever it is that you decide to prioritize in your life whether it's family football faith whatever yes. it might be our kids can do it at st thomas so they all work pretty well in unison and the faith piece is certainly one of those you know i'm sure when you came in you heard about st john st john st john sure. uh, you're awfully uh diplomatic when it comes to complimenting them but your goal is to be the best in the miac our goal is to be the best in the MIAC and eventually to be the best in the nation. Absolutely. And I'm not going to shy away from that. We're not there yet. We finished 13 and 1, and we're blessed to be at a place that I could be a little bit mad about being 13 and 1 yeah. because we lost a week before the national championship game to the eventual national champion. So, um, you know, when we got here four years ago, we were ranked 206, and we went from 206 to third in the country in wow. about three, four years. And I don't think people believe me when I tell them, trust me, the jump from number three to one is probably steeper than the jump from 206 to 3. So we got our work cut out for us. The man is in the house. It's Coach Glenn Caruso. When we come back, we'll be talking about rumors and <laughs> the cupboard. Only here on Game On. Fair enough.
get the party started. Dial it. Pitbull together with Bud Light. Here we go. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven. Happy Mother's Day, Giver. Happy Mother's Day to my wife, Rachel, at home with the three kids. You're a stud, and I love you so much. Very, very nice. My wife traveling today. We love you. Happy Mother's Day as well. When we talk about the St. Thomas football team and all the winning that you're doing, mm -hmm. covered bear this coming season? Oh, dear Lord, no. And, and you know what? It wasn't. It really wasn't when we got there. There was some work that had to be done. Um, but we, when recruiting, you work tirelessly, not just to get your high-end guys, but to make sure that that water stays deep and warm. Yeah. Because the warmer the water, the better competition is. And so it's, uh, we're in good shape. Uh, I think we're, a lot of people would like to trade spots with us, but we're constantly trying to get just a little bit better. And you laughed when, when you came in and we were talking about some of the rumors. Right, yeah. So you hear them too? I hear them too. I try not to. I don't go online or pay attention to them, but of course you hear them. And the rumor is is that you'll do so much winning in D3 that you're going to start getting the calls and start fending offers and eventually leave. How do you respond to those? Well, I don't think like that. I think when I was younger in coaching, I might have thought like that and tried to project things. Um, mm -hmm. But my wife teaches me daily that you don't control anything other than the great opportunity you have today. Yeah. We love St. Thomas. We moved our family here because we love Minnesota. Yeah. And we were all around the, the upper Midwest, and we distinctly wanted to be in the Twin Cities. Yeah. So this was a lifestyle choice for us, but I'm learning from my wife every day, and I'm going to work my butt off today. I could be at St. Thomas for a long time and yeah. be so happy and proud because of the types of kids we have an opportunity to coach. But for me to think that I control the future would be ignorant, yeah. and that's not me. Do you ever look, Coach, at coaches like John Gillardi who has been coaching so long yeah. and how blessed a, a coaching life he has had. Well that's what I think Division 3 and Division 3 football in Minnesota gives to you. It gives yeah. us that opportunity of if you do your job and if you surround yourself with the right people and if you work tirelessly yes. then you might be afforded the opportunity of longevity which is something that in today's day and age in coaching is very very rare and in, that's an absolute blessing. In almost any job. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's awesome to have you with Great us. Great to be here. This is fantastic. Great spirit. Can you stick around for a couple more minutes? I absolutely can. Because yeah, you do have an appetite. You're going to let me eat a steak, right? Oh, I'll yeah. stick around. Chef C, can't wait for you. I'm looking forward to this it. This is good stuff. Only here. He'll be back in a moment on Game On. On deck, it's upstairs to go one-on-one -on -one with one of your Lynx favorites. It's only here. It's Game On. Welcome back. It is Cooking with Chef C and delighted to be in this setting because I'm looking at you and this is like the start of a championship football game. This is for unbelievable. You. I just took a bite and I shouldn't have because I don't want to do the interview right now. <laughs> and you know what? We asked him to cook it rare and that is rare. I love it. Bone in filet. This is the Taj Mahal. Well, last week, we had, ahead, the, uh, last week we had the 12 ounce filet. And so this is it's, uh, it's the king of filets. This is the bone in filet. This is a 14 ounce. So this comes right off the bone. You only get two per animal. So it's it's a it's you don't see it in a lot of steakhouses. It's pretty it's pretty hard to find. And what what ours is is it's the best of the best. We did jumbo lump Maryland crab right on top. We smother that with it, and then we pour a honey bourbon glaze. So we start with Jim Beam. We cook that down. We add a little bit of honey, and then we add a little bit of butter. So it's kind of a French style sauce, and it is to die for. It's Mother's Day today. People will be coming in. They'll be ordering this. Will they be able to have this the way? Coach is devouring it. Absolutely, it's, it's called seven style, so we can do it with any of our steaks. Okay. I always suggest with the bone in filet just because, like I said, you don't find this at a lot of steakhouses. And this is the top 2% of beef in the country. And I always say the world because America's got the best Why not, beef, right? You know? And you know what, the sauce goes unbelievable, not just with the meat, but also the lump You're really rubbing the sauce. See if it, I love it. Not even the crab. When this, when this segment's done, I'm gonna lick the plate too. It's <laughs> unbelievable. What makes the steaks so special? It's, it's the wet age, so we do a corn finish. So the, the steak, you know, gets all that natural goodness from the corn, gets a little extra fat, and then we wet age it for 35 days. 
and other steakhouses do a dry age, it really alters the flavor of the meat. This one breaks down the meat, but it doesn't alter that big beef flavor. So you really have kind of everything. And it's one of the things you and I have talked about before, and Coach noticed it. This has that crust on top. Absolutely, 1,800 degrees. You 1, cannot beat that. 1,800 degrees. No, this is the this is the major leagues of steak cooking here. This is the best you can get. You know, we cook it over and under at the same time. Right. So you get an even cooking. You can see that the line is is even. You get that nice right. rare center, but you still get that nice char. You get so, that nice caramelization. So if someone comes in today. For Mother's Day, once once this, what do they ask for when they come in? This is the 14 ounce bone-in filet, seven style. Seven style. Would you order this, Coach? Absolutely. I might order another one right <laughs> now. You know what? Put a put a pound, uh, a pound of crab legs on the side of it, and you got the ultimate. Awesome stuff. Happy Mother's Day to everybody involved. Thank you. And it's always here. It's cooking with the man, Chef C.